In a storm like this, uh, it's not the amount of snow that uh, is problematic, it's the rate with which the snow falls. First and four, most of our area is finally in the clear from the snow. Now we're looking ahead to clean up across the northeast. And most of the snow is done falling, but we're shifting gears to winds and what that means for your commute home. And we're hearing from UB students who aren't happy school was open today, but closed yesterday. Their reaction coming up. We begin at four with a forewarn weather alert. We are finally starting to see the lights at the end of the tunnel after two days of snow. Snow blanketed the Northeast from Pennsylvania to New York. It caused a 50 car pileup in Quebec, Canada. Good afternoon and thanks so much for joining us. Parts of Western New York are still under a winter storm warning. New York State is also still under a state of emergency. We have team coverage with everything you need to know. Our team of reporters are talking to people directly impacted by the storm. And our forewarn weather team is tracking the latest conditions. We want to start with meteorologist Kaylee Wentz. She has a look at your forecast first at four. And Kaylee, it sounds like we are seeing some improvements. Yeah, Christy, that's right. We are starting to finally see some of those improvements. Snow still impacting areas off to the east of western New York, but for most of us, it's just a few light flakes that continue to fall. Now, here's a wide view of the satellite and radar. You can see that circulation still happening, so it is possible that we see a few light snowflakes as we move throughout the evening and into the afternoon. But as of now, we are seeing most of that off to the east over Rochester. I'll give you a closer look. You'll You'll notice up into Orleans County, places even east of Albion, seeing a little bit of snowfall. If you are traveling along the 90, further east today, you may run into those snow showers still, but the southern tier is in the clear as well. But this is after the storm dropped over a foot of snow in most areas across the region. The Buffalo Airport picked up 19.1 inches of snow. Forestville and Holly picked up close to that two foot mark. And then Lockport, it looks like, has been the winner with over two feet of snow in some spots. So a pretty significant amount. Here's what Lockport looked like earlier on this afternoon. A lot of cars blocked in and driveways that have yet to be plowed. And I know a lot of side streets are still waiting to be plowed. So that will be a concern as we move through the evening, although the snow has finally come to an end. Now, winter storm warnings have been canceled for Niagara, Northern Erie, Genesee, and Wyoming counties, but you'll notice still some spots highlighted in pink. Those spots are in the warning until 8 o'clock tonight, and that's because they could pick up another inch of some snowfall. So we'll continue to update you on those numbers, but in my personal opinion, I think those warnings will be canceled here within the next couple of hours. Now, coming up in my full Four and forecast. We're going to take a look at some lake effect snow that will build into the region tomorrow. It's not going to bring too much of an impact to you, but I do want to update you on some of those possible accumulations. So we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Kaylee Banks, many schools and businesses are closed, but some of you might still be out on the roads. Keith Kelly has a first look at conditions on the roads. Keith, hi, how is it looking out there? Hey, good afternoon, Christy. Right now we're looking at a pretty easy commute as you do travel on the major routes. You can see much improvement compared to yesterday and even this morning. Now we are traveling, if you're traveling along the main line through between the 219 and the uh, the 290, you're going to see in both directions, it's about a 10 minute, 11 minute drive there. So pretty easy at this point. If you're traveling up towards Grand Island from the 190 northbound, from the 198 all the way up towards River Road, about a six minute commute at this point. So we're not seeing too many delays. Looks like the major routes, if we do take a live look outside, are looking pretty clear at this point. Just dealing with the uh, snow or the wet roadways out there. Looks like a lot of that snow has been cleared as you do look at the 190 right here near the 198. 290, not bad at all. Lighter volume as you do travel up near the 990 interchange and heading down towards the Blue Water Tower. And the 33 is also in great shape as you make your way out of the downtown area. Back to you. Thank you. Happening right now, the weather is still causing problems for drivers around the state. A tractor trailer ban is still in effect on the thruway as crews work to keep the roads clear. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul and other state leaders are still at a command center in Cheektowaga monitoring conditions. News for Kellen Gray joins us there live with an update. Kellen. 
Christy, conditions here in Chitawaga have really improved since we were here just last night. Cayuga Road up here is completely free of snow, but as you mentioned, that tractor trailer travel ban on the thruway is still in place more than 24 hours after Governor Cuomo determined it was needed. Now, state leaders reiterated today that although you may not be seeing a lot of snow on the thruway here in western New York, other parts of the state conditions are much worse, and they have to look at this as a system as a whole. Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul told us today that there have been fewer accidents than they anticipated with this storm, and that's because she says they were prepared. The state of emergency allowed the state's personnel and also equipment to help local municipalities clean up after this storm. And Kathy Hoch Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul told us today that they actually ended up sending four plows to Niagara Falls to assist them because the city ran out of overtime battling this storm. The state also sent additional crews to routes 5 and 20, which were the alternate routes that truck drivers are asked to use while this ban is in place. We sent additional resources yesterday in anticipation of that heavier volume. Roads were clear and we've been in constant contact with our municipal partners, the towns and villages, and have not heard any complaints. Again, it's an inconvenience, but it's all about keeping our roads safe and allowing our thruway personnel to keep the roads clear enough so we can open it uh, to normal traffic as soon as possible. Hochul says they will put together an after action report to determine how well the state says that they will keep us updated and as soon as the state of emergency or that tractor trailer ban are lifted, we will let you know here on News 4. Reporting live in Chictawaga, Kellen Gray, News 4 at 4. Kellen, important information, thank you. Well, several colleges in western New York did not close today despite the state of emergency still in effect in our state. A lot of students are not happy about that. They say things are worse today and they want to know why colleges were closed yesterday and not today. News 4's Angela Christophoros joins us from the University at Buffalo. She has new reaction from students. Angela? Yeah, Christy, I'm here at UB South Campus. And if you can believe it, the sun is actually out. But don't let that fool you because it was a much different story earlier today when heavy snow made for a difficult commute to campus. It was so bad that a lot of students I spoke with earlier said they thought that today would have actually made for a much better snow day than yesterday. Now classes are rarely canceled at UB, but yesterday the university closed because of a mandate that came from Governor Cuomo's office. It ordered non-essential state employees, including UB faculty and most staff, not to report to work. A UB spokesman says there was no such mandate today. However, the same state of emergency that was in effect yesterday is still in effect today, but school carried on as usual. A lot of students say keeping the university open today compromised their safety, and they also say that several parking lots and sidewalks were barely plowed. It was very bad. I was slipping and sliding everywhere. I had to go like 10 miles an hour just to get here. I left an hour and a half because I have class at 11 and I had to leave at 930. The roads definitely like looking around just here. They don't look as good as they probably should be, but I mean it's hard for them to keep up. The snow's coming down pretty quick. He isn't the only school that opened its doors today. Other schools like Erie Community College, Buffalo State, and others were also open. Now coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear more reaction from UB students who say going to school today was just not safe. You'll also hear from a UB official about the decision to keep the school open. But for now, reporting live from UB's South Campus, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 4. Angela, thanks. And we will have much more weather coverage on News 4 at 4. Remember, you can track the snow and get the latest forecast at any time in two simple ways. You can download our free forewarn weather app or log on to WIVB.com.